What's up guys, welcome back. It's been a couple days since I've done a video. I know I did the the Halloween video and I plan to do another video about Halloween probably tomorrow. I'm not really too sure. I've just it's been a chaotic week. So today is the one hour or so special uh for the non sac 10k slot. I've been working on this slot a lot lately. I literally just got off this slot. Uh as we finally have all of the candy shop items. It, it took a while. So some things you'll notice is A, my RP count is extremely high in comparison to the last video. That's because I have spent hours farming pumpkin boxes uh, in preparation for a live stream where I will be sitting down and opening 500 plus boxes on every single one of my save slots in one sitting. So we're gonna open like two and a half thousand pumpkin boxes. Make sure if that's something you're interested in, we'll just be hanging out with chat and opening boxes. So it'll be fun. All right, so today we have a big goal, okay? That goal is I would like to hit as close to life a thousand as possible, which means we are gonna make a new setup with all of the awesome new items we have so first i would like to see our current setup which is very efficient however it could only be better some new things we've done is number one we have a bunch of exotic items exotic items and we have a lot of the halloween candy shop items so we should be at a place to where now it is fairly easy to get the setup working uh it does give a lot as it is and it's already pretty much sack proof but I want to put colliders into it. I want to make this OP. I want to see if we get like a super fast time. Let's start. Let's just get an atomium down. Like this. Do I have a quasar? I do not have a quasar. Okay. Instantly, we're going to put true overlord. And then we're going to get a collider. Actually, do we want to use a collider? Because if we use a collider, that means we have to have a shop set up. I think what we should do instead... Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I think what we should do instead is just get rid of the garbage in the setup. Anything that's super slow, anything that just isn't needed. And we make up for it with better choices. Just make the setup as short as possible. Because why not? So let's see our items list. It's, first off, let's go through our exotic items. All right, let's run this. DE. Okay, this is really strong and it's definitely faster as I removed a lot of the slow items from the setup. So we could remove, we can save. Let's turn off chat. All right, we're not gonna be doing any skipping yet. Um, albeit I'd love to do skipping, especially after the 18 and a half hour video that I did. Um, there's just the problem that I need as many items right now as I can get. Did I save? Yes, I did. Okay. I just wanted to be sure because that would have been chaotic. Yeah, something I plan on doing, uh, for all of my slots is I plan on finishing the entire Halloween event, uh, which I'm in a very good process of doing. It's just, um, the only, like, real concern is that it takes- oh, wow, dude, sub-20. Beautiful. It takes a long time to do- and there's another problem that the wait oh that's our rp farm we don't need this anymore but do we want to use cannons bro because we definitely could i don't know we'll wait we're not gonna yet the problem is that uh finishing it takes a really long time on each slot it's really slow it takes forever um and more importantly is it is 100% worth it for all of the series content that I'm planning on doing. Like, it would just be nice to have all those items and just never have to worry going forward. So as a result, uh, I'm going to be completing all of the events on all of my slots uh, going forward. It's going to take a long time, but it's going to be it's going to be a good idea. It's going to be worth it. Uh, it might as well, you know. It does not hurt. It's just going to take some time. Beautiful, bro. Rebirth and so quick. Oh, we finally got our astral, dude. That means we could put a uh, astral setter in soon. I think that was something we were looking for. Hell yes. All right, let's go do that. Bruh, I need to go back. Are you serious? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely love to see it. 
Also, sorry if my voice is uh, a little tired in any possible way. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, like streaming and stuff lately. Which again, we uh, we do stream on weekends now. That's gonna be a, like a recurring thing. It might like it might be like a one missed weekend here and there, but like we're we're planning to stream every weekend. So if you guys are interested in MH live streams, uh, under saving live streams, then make sure you uh, you tune in. It'll be fun. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to do. I think we're just gonna we're gonna flip this, delete, save, make sure it's saved, rebirth load and let's just try it i'm curious to see what astral setter is gonna do because setter is so much stronger than the original oh that is a big jump that is a crazy jump we went from getting like mid to high de to like instant ud that's crazy so what items do i want next i mean we've already got a shiny which i thought was crazy i don't know if you guys seen that in one of the recent videos oh this is not working hello Dude, what was that? I don't know if you guys seen that. That was that was wild. Um, we did get a shiny. We got a nature's grip in the last episode. I don't know how. I just don't know what else I want to do with this setup. I mean, I definitely could change it to a collider setup, which I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, it's just the matter of I just don't like two layouts. It's not even that it would be uh, faster or slower. I just don't like two layouts. It's so annoying. Uh, but I might do it anyways. I think it might be time. Because uh, we've been doing a just a regular setup for a long time now. Maybe it'd be a good idea. I don't know. Dude, another anguish. What is our anguish luck on this slot, dude? Like, what is our anguish luck? We've had so many of them. So many of them. It's also nice that I'm doing this because I'm definitely going to hit life 400 today. Um, and as a result, I'll be able to get hydraulic teleporters, which is pretty big. I'd consider that a massive success, is to get hydraulic teleporters unlocked. Because then I could use that for my candy farming, which I very much need to do, as I need to get all of the presents still. I have not a single present on this lot. Ooh, Catalyst is good. I think we're, we're soon to get saturated Catalyst. Which is very good. So I think when I get Saturated Catalyst, I'll probably remove Atlantic. And then soon we'll try to replace Wild Spore with Deadly Spore, which I think we could already do. I definitely could use some of these items. I just don't really care to. I mostly cared about uh, the portables. Uh, but this slot is still missing so many portables. It does have a lot of items, though. I mean, like, for instance, we have Ghastly Saloon. Uh, we will get all of the box exotics that are in the game uh, soon. We'll probably get some luxuries as well. Uh, because I wouldn't mind some base customization or something. Or for instance, like a Freon Bombarder. Are those 100% uh, They're only 40% luxury chance? I thought it was higher. Exotic is only 2%, 2%, 1%. 1%. Uh, crazy. It's got to be higher than that. Ah, uh, bro, there's more? Bro, we can't pass up all of these. Oh, man, and a candy corn. Yeah, it's GG's, bro. Here we go. Beautiful. Another astral? Dude. Dude, we spent an entire, like, two videos trying to get one astral, and now we have, like, setter already, and then extra. Like, come on, man. Why is the RNG gotta just bully me for an entire series and then just bless me the next day? I'll take a Newtonium. It's not necessarily what I'm looking for, but it's fine. I mean, I can't make fusions, so ultimately it's useless now. Like, it is quite literally useless, but like... I don't know. I mean, it's still a decent item for, like, TSTG setups because of the blaster resistance that it has. Uh, we already have a refuter. We don't need to upgrade our Tesla. Uh, we could start working toward Atlantic Evolution. Uh, Deadly Spore, you know, Grandfather Clockwork. Like, at some point, we are just going to start having to try and collect every fusion possible. Or not fusion, evolution. Um... 
I don't know. I feel like evolutions are going to be the reason that we make a lot of progress. So I'm not opposed to getting as many of them as possible. Uh, I actually am not opposed to getting BBBs because that means at some point, once I start getting shards, I could finally, 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 I could start using Mad Mantra's Melters, which are absolutely busted items, dude. Triple M is... Triple M. Why did I say Triple M? That was the dumbest thing. Mad Monstrous Melter. I don't know why I just said Triple M. That is not something I say often. That was dumb. It's been interesting seeing the route that I'm taking for this... For this slot. I don't really know entirely... Um... What I'm gonna do... Going forward with it. But... At least as far as, like, setups. I don't know. Right now, I'm just getting some rebirth items. Once we hit around 350, uh, I'm probably going to stop for a sec, and we're going to go get some some items. All right, hell yeah. You know, we were having this debate on my live stream over the weekend um, on what people's favorite drinks were. You know what I was happily surprised to see is that soda or pop is... Um, not in most people's top three of any kind. I know it's, like, really unrelated to the game, but, like, it was just something that popped in my head. I literally just open a Coca-Cola. I don't, I don't drink, like, absurd amounts. Like, never more than one in a day. Uh, and oftentimes I try to go multiple days between sodas, but I don't know. Why did I just load that? There was no reason I should have done that. Okay, well, this is this is our setup now. <laughs> this is this is our setup now, chat. So why did I say chat? I'm not streaming. All right, you know what? We're gonna take that little adventure break early. We're gonna we're gonna go up here and just get some items. Where is it? Deadly spore, hundred k, no problem. Uh, what else? I thought there was something else I wanted to do. I'm not going to check this one yet. We'll wait on Saturated. We'll come back. Now we can do this. This. Save. Alright, I want to see the money I'm making now. If we're getting above 10 UD really easy... Yeah, it's... We're getting rid of one of these. What's worse? Atlantic? I think Atlantic is worse. I think it's a times five. No, it's a times four and gives wet. So we're going to remove Atlantic. We're just going to keep making good changes to this setup. Keep shortening it as much as we can. If I don't need it, why bother? Okay. Let's see now. I definitely have enough catalysts, by the way, for um, saturated. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, I don't have enough. You need 10 catalysts. I currently only have 8. But it, it's a good upgrader. It's a times 8. So it is quite strong. How many are we at now? Almost 550. We're doing pretty good. We're getting a lot of pumpkin boxes. It's been nice having a lot, though. Because I have a lot on my main slot. I'm just hoping that I can get like the relics and the exotics on all my slots. At least most of them for each slot. Uh, as well as there's a couple items I'd like to have extras of, like spooky coal mines, stuff like that, uh, hopeless bog, spooktastic refiner, just to name a few. Also, let me know what you guys think of the new camera angle. I don't remember if I've asked this in this video yet, so if I have, uh, I'll just leave this in and you guys could laugh at me. But I ended up changing the camera angle, like, last night. I made a lot of new changes to my room, actually. Um... I moved one of my Xboxes over from the entertainment center I have over here over to the back by my bed. So this thing you see right above my finger is a TV. Not the flag, but the TV. It's this box right here. So now I could lay in bed and I could literally play games like Miner's Haven, Halo, stuff like that. Guardian of the Gate. That's a new one for us, guys. Never going to use it. Just, just thought you guys should know that I will not be using it. Why? Because it is bad. All right. Here we go. Let's get a crazy rebirth item. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't even know. It is gonna be. 
It's gonna be a limited shiny. Okay, yeah. Something I've noticed in the time that I've been playing uh, Minder Saban on Xbox recently is the controls are a little jank, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, I was actually really surprised to see how decent the Xbox experience was. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Xbox is really hard to do well uh, with on Roblox. It's something I've always struggled to make UI for for games or whatever. But, like, something I personally have noticed is that it's particularly okay. It's not terrible. It's not the greatest on Roblox, but it, I don't think it's the worst either. I was pretty surprised. Also, another thing is given, to be fair, I do have a Xbox Series X, which is the newer one. It runs amazingly. It does not run as well under pressure as like my PC does. So for instance, um, if I, God, sorry. For instance, if I fill up my ore limit on PC, I'll get a little drop in FPS, usually from, I don't know, we'll say 120 to 70. Um, that's, that's where we average, I'll say around 120, and then it'll drop us down to like a consistent 70 under max, max ore limit. I would say higher, I don't even know, I'm not gonna check, I don't really care, but... Xbox, for instance, does not uh, do it that good. It it struggles a little more. I can probably drop to like 30 FPS under max. Probably worse. I'd say maybe 20 FPS. But, I mean, it's not terrible. And that is playing on max graphics as well. So I, I feel like if I was like desperate for like some challenge where I did need all of my ores... Um, I wouldn't be in a particularly screwed scenario. I thought I seen a giant UC crate. I was going to go run for it. Or another pilot type mine. Wasn't that my last rebirth item? Or that was one of them, I think. I don't know. By the way, sorry about the community response to the videos in the series prior not showing much progress on the game. I was very aware, uh, even while making that, the past five videos of this series, other than this one, were actually recorded in one sitting the day before I had to leave for, um, it was, no, sorry, it was the day of the day I left for St. Louis. I went on a trip, I went to a concert, I was gone for a couple days. I actually had only done that so that you guys would feel compensated for me being gone. So as a result, I sat down for about two, three hours, and I recorded five videos in that play session. So just something to be aware of. We have had a pretty good, like, steady progress, I feel like, otherwise. But uh, I'm aware of it, and we'll probably be tweaking things in terms of how the videos go. So just, just to be aware that you have been heard. Uh, because I... I very much want to make this an engaging series, and I don't want it to, like, drag on for, like, 45 episodes. It's also going to be weird, as this will be the first video in the series to have different music. It's a true fact. Dude, I would use Atlantic if it was good in the first place. I think what we'll do is, once I get Saturated Catalyst, I think we'll add that in and replace Vistarian with it. I feel like that's the best decision to make. 16 seconds, not bad. I do think at some point during today's video though, guys, we are gonna switch this from a uh, non-railgun, or sorry, a non-cannon to a cannon setup. Albeit we'll probably use colliders. Um, I don't know, might be able to make it faster and much more OP given I'd be able to use more items and not have to worry about time as much. But we'll see. Oh, I could definitely get a Quantum War Polisher to use for that. That would be really good. Yes, man! Pumpkin Hut! Let's go! What is the uh, what is the multiplier on this? I don't think it's super strong. Ore size is increased by 10. Cringe uh, by 10%. And multiplies ore, val ore, value? ore value by times 4. So not necessarily something I plan on using. Because it, it's just not 
enough, but we may end up using it. We'll see. All right, we're going to get some items uh, from the craftsman. GG's to everyone with the, uh, the limited shinies. So we don't have enough for saturated yet. However, something I learned in my video, the 18 and a half hour video, well, in that video, something I realized is Quantum War Polisher is great for collider setups. Uh, I'll show you guys why in a bit. I'm not going to bother explaining it, but it is really cool. Uh, some of the stuff you could do with it if you can get it consistent. If not, I mean, you're going to have some problems, but that goes for like anything in this game. So, all right, I, I want to make this setup. I, I really, really do. A few things need to be done. Number one, let's get some money. Let's just get to about SP. Uh, hydraulics. Let's get some of these. Okay, uh, that should be fine. Now what I want to do is I want to take this. I'm going to move all of this stuff. Just to the corner for now. We're going to get our collider. That does not hit. I, I just don't remember how to get the ores that far down. What if I did this unironically? That doesn't work. Okay. I mean, I'm not stressing over it. And then what I could do is um, we can use portables. Again, and just make even more. Now that this is also A, incredibly straight and consistent, what we'll do is uh, clockwork. Because that's hitting. Where are ores bouncing? Alright, let's see. Oh, bro, it's so goaded. Oh, wait, no, it hits the Tesla. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love this setup. Okay, yup. GG's, I'm resaving, just in case. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, wait, we got Spook Lord. I almost forgot. I actually almost forgot about Spook Lord, bro. We also, like, terribly messed this up. We were supposed to do first. Dude, Spook Lord is goaded. I almost forgot about that. That means... Aw, oh, dude, crap. Okay, so that means on all my slots, I'm gonna at least have to hit life two. Because I'm gonna need to get DD on life one on each, bruh. I don't want to rebirth on those slots. The reason I don't want to rebirth on my alt slots is because I'm saving them for the series. But guys, I'm not going to lie. I might need to do some rebirthing on those in order to get like pumpkin hut and stuff. Bro. Bro, almost a 10 second setup is crazy. That will actually probably fix some inconsistencies with the setup. Dude, I legit forgot about Spook Lord Device, man. I'll probably throw it in the setup at some point, but that, that won't be until I could easily remove some of the items like Vistarian and stuff. Let's figure this out. We're, we're going to try to get a Spook Lord Device into the setup. It's not even much of an increase, bro. I don't think it's worth it. I, I, don't, I don't think we're missing that much. This is already just extremely consistent. Like, it's almost instant. I was sitting there for a good second waiting for my money until I looked up and I already had enough to rebirth. I was like, what? Oh, y'all, I know what it is. It's the life requirement, man. That's why I don't have, that's why the eggs aren't working. I just need to be high enough life. Okay, well, that means that I really got to get on these uh, series at some point soon. Yo, I'll actually take a Venom Shank. Not gonna lie. I will take it. Okay, uh, one thing I want to do, actually, really quick, is move this to, like, here. Just so I could see better if um, the item's actually, like, placed and whatnot. 
we've already been recording for an hour. Been here a while. I've not been rebirthing as fast as I possibly can this entire time. Just, like, keep that in mind. Um, not even intentionally, it just... Just enjoying the game, doing other things, taking breaks to go get boxes and stuff. Dude, we might hit... By the end of the video, we might hit 600 pumpkin boxes, which would be so peak. I would be so happy if I did that. Hold on, we're gonna take a break, grab uh, grab some of these. Yeah, right now our setup is absolutely busted. It, it just works so well. I just didn't think that quickly I would be able to get to like a 10 second setup potentially a sub 10 if everything just like like ping and everything works really really well for a, a moment but honestly it's just it's nice to just be there already it would be even faster if I somehow did not need the teleporter but I felt like this was the just like most generic simple way that I I could have just made this work. I was too lazy to do anything like too wild for it. Man, I don't even want to use the evolution for it. Like I just don't. I don't like dealing with the wet status effect. I don't think it really does much, but just it's just another way that the setup can become complicated fast. So, ah, uh, dude, you had you had me tricked. I thought this was a uh, pumpkin for a second. Bro, GG's. Also, I just realized we just hit life 400. Sweet. I actually think nature's enchantment was good at one point, but it was very brief. I can't ever... That is a catalyst. I was going to say, I can't ever remember a point where it was like meta, but I can remember a point where it was maybe good. I think we're going to wait on saturated for now. I think, again, the setup is just working consistently. Don't make changes that don't need to be made. I think we're fine right now. Okay, Quantum War Cleaner is officially useless for me. You know what's crazy is I'm only life 400 and there are now items that officially mean nothing to me. Um, as A, they're bad. Or B, I've already got the evolution. There's never going to be a point now where I'm like, damn, I need astral setters. Or damn, I need... Um... Quantum more cleaners. It's there's just not a point for it. Unless of course I need more of the evolution. I don't know why I would. But another thing to consider, I guess, is salvaging. I can soon get shards. I'll probably save that until there's like a really good weekend with Masked Man. Um I don't know, it's I just don't think there's a whole lot that I need right now. So I'm actually really, really liking the uh, the camera angle here. I'm not going to lie. I actually really, really like this. Because when it was up here, it would look like I'm looking at you guys like this every time I would look at my money. But it was just it was just that the money's right here. But you guys were right here. There's barely, barely a difference. Now you're all the way over there. So the only time it looks like I'm looking at you guys is if I'm looking at the leaderboard in the top right. Um... But I, I don't really see much of a point to do that other than looking at my life. But there's so many other ways to do that, so. Bro, okay, I love Pizza Blaster. I actually really like the build for it, too. It is maybe one of my favorite reborn items uh, for early life in terms of build. The only problem I have with it is that, oh my god, it is absolutely terrible uh, at a certain point. It is, uh, it is bad for a variety of reasons. In my opinion, number one, the conveyor is horrendously slow. It is terrible. It is slow. So if you're not using cannons or colliders, you suffer as a result. It's not really that strong. It's literally one of the first reborn items in the game that you can get. As a result, it's pretty weak. I believe it is a times four. In reason, number three, it is a large. It is not a small item. It is a 6x6, six six, I believe, which for an item of that multiplier is not good. It's comparable to Pineapple Refiner being a 4x4 four four and only giving a times 2 Same thing with, like, Pumpkin Hero and stuff. They're just kind of outdated items that really need to, to be buffed to, to show some more life. Because I love using Pineapple Refiner. It is arguably, to this day, still my favorite item in the game. 
maybe tied or below Ancient Conveyor. But man, I love those items. And they are terrible, so we don't use them, which sucks. I also just love the, uh, the design. I didn't like it with the Twitter icon, but they removed the Twitter icon from it like two years ago. And it's just so clean. It's beautiful. I love it. It's just, it is the perfect conveyor. Ancient conveyor is absolutely one of the best items in the game. Nobody can say otherwise. And if you try to debate me on that, I will ban you. Yum. yum. That was not yum. That was a giant, like, four foot tall pumpkin. Don't know how you got a yum out of that, but. Frozen Justice? Actually, no, Frozen Peaks is quite strong. That's a good point. I forgot about Frozen Peaks being OP. Wait, 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 guys. Wait, guys. Hold on. Hell yes, dude. So many, so many Frozen Justice just got removed. But this is the right way to do it. Okay, yo, we just made so much progress with one item. Oh my god, it's beautiful already. Okay, if you don't know why I'm super happy about Nuclear Stronghold, is it is one of the best, if not the best. Uh, it is not the best, but it is one of the best. Upgraders, or... Bro, words are just not supposed to be this hard. It is one of the best furnaces in the game for RP farming. It's really efficient. As a result, you may see me in one of the next episodes with like 50 million RP. We don't ask questions. All I know is that I'm going to be doing some RP farming at some point. I think I just messed up my camera. Also, for those of you that haven't tuned into uh, the live stream I did last week, even if you just go and click on that live stream, go look at the overlays for the intro to the stream. I have spent hours making new overlays so you guys can get a cool like Miner's Haven themed live stream experience. And uh, it's very, very cool, and everyone spoke very highly of it. So, I don't know, just, like, spend, like, two minutes just watching, like, the intro to that stream if you get bored uh, sometime today or something. And uh, just tell me what you think. Go reply in that comment section, not here. Because, uh, yeah, I'm going to be pretty confused, probably. Um, but go there, tell me what you think. If, uh, if, if you can, it'd be cool. I would love feedback, because... I spent a lot of time on that. Uh, it took hours. Many, 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 many hours. I did all of it in a day. Like, it wasn't like a like a week-long process, but uh, it, it just took hours. All right, let's go. Welcome back to your base. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Miner's Haven, for welcoming me. I feel welcomed. I am extremely excited to see uh, the crazy shiny collection that I build up over time over the, all of these slots. Because it's without a doubt that over 10,000 rebirths on each slot, like I'm bound to at least get one shiny. I'd say roughly three per slot, roughly. I'd say like no higher than three, at most four. Um... But it'd be cool to see. I mean, like, it'd be really disappointing if all I got this entire series was Nature's Grip. We'll see. We're, we're gonna have to just find out over time. Newtonium, bro. Again, I kind of just talked about this in today's video, but, like, there's so many items that are just useless now. I, I've... They have fulfilled their purpose already for me. We definitely could be skipping lives, but, bro, like, if I do, I feel like I'm gonna suffer for it. I don't know. I don't- I just don't know. Maybe it's time we do some life skipping. But at the same time, it would be nice to at least wait till 1k. And then make some crazy setup and then- then do some skipping. I think we could manage to do 1k with no skips. I think we'll be fine. I think we should wait, um, at least till 1k and maybe- maybe like 1.5. The only concern is literally just running- into problems with reborn price because you are you are no longer supposed to be non-sack once you hit 1k right so the game gets exponentially harder and i want to be ready for that um and i don't i don't know what's going to happen and i'm also trying to consider the longevity of the series i know we talked about doing uh non-sack 100k 
I really just don't want to put myself in a bad situation just to speed through these early lives. Uh, which I worry could happen. I, I've really always been extra cautious in terms of skipping uh, when playing Miner's Haven. I'd at least like to hit like 600 today, probably. I feel like that'd be a good goal or 750, but I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to be here for too long. Uh, I do have other things to get to today, unfortunately. So I'm only. I'm planning on making today's. Okay, that I don't know why I did that. Um, I think it, I did that on accident. Uh, we're gonna try to keep today's recording session like a like a three four hour session. Hopefully, no longer. I mean, it's only been an hour and a half. I'm I'm not feeling too bad. We're already halfway through through today's video so the reason i put quotations around that is i don't know how long i'm going to record for i did say to aim for three hours of footage um as that leaves a lot to make for an hour long video it, dude you guys have no idea i can turn a like a 30 minute recording session into like a 15 minute video if i'm like I'm just, like, on good commentary that day. Like, if I'm just on it, dude, if I'm locked in, good commentary. Oh, yes, bro. Give me more of these. If the if the commentary is good that day, I, I could easily uh, make, like, a 20-minute video out of, like, a 30-minute recording session. It just... It can get really tedious um, when there's not a lot going through my head on what to talk about or, like... If the gameplay has become not as commentatable. So as a, as a result, some videos are harder to edit than others. Um, if you have like a clear path on what you're trying to record, that's why I like tutorial content. Tutorial content works very well because you literally just know what you're going to do. You just go through the steps. You edit the, the bits in between each step out. And... You post it. Uh, the only problem is that you need to be perfect with no mistakes. Uh, because if you make mistakes, I can promise it is the biggest problem ever. Uh, or it's not really a big problem. Okay, I'm, I'm just... This is literally just, like, YouTuber me just being, like, exaggerating things. It's actually, like, not really a problem at all. But for instance, like, in, like, a Life 1 tutorial in the past, I'm not talking recently but i'm talking maybe like 2020 or 2019 uh i would make like a small mistake and it would throw off the entire guide for everyone watching um for the rest of the video you can see this in some videos on my channel like for instance i think it was one of my tstg videos uh or like my challenge videos for tstg i don't remember um i couldn't get something to work and my entire trial and error process, I literally just cut out of the video, um, or I left it in, I don't remember. But as a result, like, some of the people building might have skipped that part and not known that. So, like, you, you just have to, like, you just have to consider everybody, that not everybody's gonna watch the entire video. It's not as easy as just, like, oh, I made a mistake. Sometimes that means you have to re-record that entire video. It can be... It can be pretty drastic. It really depends on how big the mistake is, but... Yeah, I, I don't know how long this uh, recording session is going to be. The amount of lives I get done today is going to be entirely determined... Um, by how long I record for, for sure. It's like, I'm also trying to get a lot of lives done. To make up for how much progress was lost over the last five videos. However, I still want to keep this video reasonably long uh, and reasonably short as well. I'm not trying to make a two-hour video for a one-hour video special, um, nor do I want to edit like seven hours of footage down to an hour-long video. That is ridiculous because uh, my editing process actually requires, for the most part, me to watch the entire video as i'm editing it uh and make sure that you know things that i don't want in the video are taken out stuff like that i like that we just get to talk during these videos it doesn't always have to be about the game which makes me happy that people still tune in um because i don't think you guys understand how hard it can be to talk about one game 
or hours at a time. Even if it's a game you love, sometimes you just need to steer the direction of the topic away for a little bit and come back. Which is what I, I usually try to do. Like, we work on the setup for a little bit, you know, we make some progress. Talk about some things while we rebirth, try to make more progress, and talk about the game again. Cycle repeats. Um, that is That is usually the idea that runs through my head when I record these. Uh, but it, it steers around a lot. I don't have any plan when I go into one of these videos. I just think, how long am I going to record for? How long is the video supposed to be? And what is the life goal to try to reach? This is going to be a good video, though. I can already tell this is going to be hopefully, hopefully a good one. I have I have faith that this is going to be a, probably a well-liked video. I don't even care about the numbers it does, man. I mean, all of that stuff is fun. Don't get me wrong. You love to see a video do well. I like to see videos do well in the sense that people actually enjoy it. And it becomes like a fan favorite on the channel. Uh, for instance, the 18-hour video. People have already watched it in full. Yo, shout out to you guys who've done that. I don't care how you did it. If you slept during it. If you what like if you just put it on in the background just watch it for a while i don't care what it is dude you guys cooked that video i don't know if you guys know this but it did so well i i obviously can't go into like super specific details uh on the exact numbers but y'all i don't think you understand you guys you guys did crazy with that video and i cannot thank you enough for how well uh received that video still is to this day as far as videos like these go, though, I just like to have fun, and I just hope that, you know, you're still interested. That's that's all that matters. If you guys haven't seen the other parts to this series, I do encourage you to go watch them. I actually have watched, I'm not even kidding, I've watched every single one of them. And I don't just mean while editing. I have literally sat down at some point within, I'd say about three days of one of those videos going out for the, the non-stack 10k. I have watched those videos. I watch all of them because I actually think the content is decent. Um, and I don't like actually like sit down and I'm like, damn, I'm like such a funny guy or anything like that. I just, I, I just put it on usually while I, uh, I do some work or something around the house and I just kind of just listen. Sometimes I'll, I'll watch along for like a minute or two. I don't like sit down and watch my own content though. That's kind of weird, but I don't think it's a bad thing. I actually would argue that it's only good for the channel because it gives me the ability to m memorize mistakes I make often. For instance, uh, something I know I do as a habit is uh, I jump around a lot in minor save. That's just because that's just what we do as players and I forget to do the opposite, which is not jump during recordings. So exposing myself to me doing that by watching the videos has made some progress. Not not a lot, but some. Uh, as well as just things that I've noticed I could do differently in terms of like editing and stuff. It's just, it's okay to watch your own videos. It can be a little corny and it could be a little awkward to just watch yourself play a video game. But it kind of kind of works. It's It's kind of a positive thing, especially if you can enjoy your own content. If you could enjoy watching the content you make just as much as you enjoy making it, I think you have the ability to be a very successful content creator because I promise you, man, that just proves you're enjoying every second of it, which is which is just a beautiful thing to enjoy making and watching your own content. I don't think there's any shame in watching your own videos at all as long as it's not an ego thing like if you're just watching it because you're like damn nobody makes better videos than me here's a problem but if you just watch it because you're like i'll check it out i put out the video a couple days ago might as well and you try to gain something from it you're like damn the video's fun i i think i did good where could i do better that is that is the first thing you should always ask yourself where what what could i do better but that applies to so much in life that it's not just content i mean for instance with me something i've noticed over the past two years now i believe that i've been doing community management for miners haven is i 
always strive to do better. Uh, something I do when I'm done with an event is I sit down and I go, okay, what went well with this event? And I do some note taking. Uh, and I should say not taking. I do some note taking. Sorry. I, these headphones are really loud. It makes it a little hard to hear my voice sometimes. So sometimes words come out wrong, but I could kind of hear it. I catch myself. But anyways, um, a little ramble aside. I make notes of what I did well, what went well, including things that are out of my control because those are factors to consider, especially when looking at content, community ran events, stuff like that. There's so much that's out of your control. You can't guarantee success. However, I will say, uh, I also like to be very critical, very critical when running events of what I do wrong, what I did poorly, what can I improve is a question I ask myself every time an event is done. And as a result, uh, we are cooking some crazy community events. If you'd like to participate in those, you can join the official Miner Save-In server. I will link it in the description. And you can join, you can... Uh, get the role for the community events ping and you can participate and you can win some crazy prizes. I promise I am trying to make sure that the next event that I'm running, uh, which is a challenge gauntlet, has some crazy prizes and a world's first competition. So make sure you tune in for that if you want to try and get world's first or just cheer on a friend uh, as they try to complete the challenge. So, yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. But, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with consuming the content you make or finding interest in your own work. I mean, like, like if I... For me personally, I work on music a lot. This is something I don't personally share with everybody. I think everybody knows that I am a massive 21 Pilots fan. I have been for a long time. I've always been a casual listener. Uh, but years ago a handful of years ago i took that from like like a three in serious level to like a 10 and it's it's not died since i have been at a 10 with that band for so many years now well it inspired me to start making music of my own for example uh because of a class i took that class i took in high school gave us the same software called logic pro that the band used to make some of their original music so as a result, I spent a couple weeks recreating some of their old songs as best as I could to learn the software. And now two years plus later, I think maybe three years now, no, two, uh, like two and a half, I still make music and I'm still very judgmental of my own stuff. However, until I'm allowed to be judgmental, um, I like to sit down and I like to listen to my own stuff for hours and hours and hours and I just listen to it so much and I I love some of my stuff there are things that I sometimes I just I don't want to listen to anything else I just boot up my own music I just listen to it and I think what could I do different if I was to like if I was to go back into like the music editor and change this song what would I do sometimes I do I'm like okay you know what and a new a new idea happened a new idea happened let's go put it in so I go and I put it in the song and, you know, something I'll notice is whatever positive mindset I had that made me make that change, if it was a good change, is I notice that sticks around when I'm making the next song. And I'm like, for instance, I just had a track I worked on the other day that I loved the drums for. I think I did really good. And part of that was that I went back to the editor constantly and I would go and I would make changes to those drums. I'd be like, this part's not like bouncy enough. This part can use a little like faster pace. And I just go make changes and I just I just slowly fall in love with my own work and I feel like I feel like that's something that needs to be so much more encouraged is um you will feel so much more proud of what you've done. Once, once you've grown to love what you make, and I, I, I know this was kind of like, kind of like a serious little ch chat moment, but I don't know. It's I feel I feel like everyone could use a, a positive message, and I, I don't mind being the one to share that. Um, and it can be applied to 
a lot of different parts in life. I won't say all parts of life, but but a lot of parts of life. Um, your work, your hobbies, your passions, all that stuff, you, you could very much incorporate a... Um, I will be more proud of what I do if I'm happy with the result. But part of that is also just loving the process. Bro, more nuclear strongholds. We're already up to four this video, bro. Oh, yes, man. Dude, the rarity is crazy, too. We should not have four of these within 98 lives. We actually might be wrapping this one up sooner, to be honest. We've, we've got a lot of content for you guys in this video already, and I, I am so aware of that. We already hit 500, so that's a good sign. I'm going to make the goal for the next video very clear now, and I'm going to do it again at the end of the video. I would like to hit Life 1000 in the next video. Uh, it won't be a super long video. Do not expect another hour plus video. You are simply going to get a selection of the rebirths. You're not going to get all of them. Um, at least that's probably what's going to happen. I'm going to, I'm still going to run the poll uh, on the community posts or in the Discord server and just kind of ask everybody, hey, what would you rather get? Um, but I don't know. I, I want to, I want to get to life a thousand already really, really badly. Uh, it just, it just takes time. And I, I don't think I could do that in this video. I don't think I was supposed to get a box there, but, but we got one. Also GG's boys. We're already above 600, uh, pumpkins. I think, I think if I hit a thousand in the next video, I think we could match the pace fairly well and be able to hopefully pull about a thousand lives a video. Maybe. I don't know. It really depends. It depends on where the setup goes uh, and mostly just what changes have to happen over time in order to keep up. So we'll see. I, I want to talk to you guys about it, though. So again, if you're not in the Discord, join it. We'll be we'll be chatting about it soon. Another pumpkin hut. I will happily take more pumpkin huts. We already have five. Not too bad. I think by the end of this event, I'm hoping to be at maybe like 20 or 25. I don't really know how many I'm going to get. But honestly, given I've done a decent amount of rebirths today and we've already got five, I think it's very much possible that we could even hit like 50. It really just depends on how many of these videos I record throughout this event. So just wanted to like keep that in mind. You know, what's nice is now that I'm faster too, I can make like more laps around the map and not have to worry about taking super long to rebirth. And I could just run back rebirth and it, it'd only be like a, like a 20 second time or something. Because I, I don't really care too much about um a crazy fast time every rebirth. Bro, you just know exactly the kind of stuff I'm looking for. I'm looking for, like, utility items right now. Or anything that's super OP and could just make the setup, like, really good. I also wouldn't mind maybe something like Vulcans soon. Uh, or, like, Hades. Uh, I also wouldn't mind a Dragon Blaster at all. I could so use Dragon Blasters. Dragon Blasters might be the reason uh, that this, this challenge becomes easy uh because i'm gonna need a, a lot of hydro blasters like i mean an insane amount of hydro blasters i at least want to get five over the ten thousand lives or over the hundred thousand lives i really don't know i just <laughs> hydras are super op i think they're like a times 90 dude like they're crazy i, d I don't know it's just i i don't know i think those would be good even just regular Dragon Blasters are simply just good. They're not terrible. I think I think two BBBs is better than a Hydra. But I also know that, um, what is it? Mad Monstrous Melter is far better. All right, we'll probably, we'll probably do about 10 more lives, guys. I think we'll get to 525 and then we'll stop. Just, just because, uh, we definitely have more than an hour's worth of content. We, I, I don't want to make this video two hours, so I'm a little, I'm a little stressing. I'm not stressing too bad, but I'm a little stressing. Crazy astral predictor. Best item in the game, guys. I cannot believe I just got that. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. Thank you, guys. I think we'll just end the series early. We got an astral predictor. There's no point in hitting 10k, because if I just use it, it's... 
it's just gonna give me inf instantly so yeah i think that i think i think we're gonna have to end this series terribly early just because of the astral predictor this bit is not funny i i'm just i'm i'm sorry you guys and we got a frozen justice best item in the game oh we can we could get a lot of these pearl yes wait pearl is so goaded too yes thank you all right let's see how much money it gives now all right octillions okay so it's just like easy duo decillions like it's not like crazy but it just kind of like solidifies the dd part of the setup and i will probably give myself some of the candy items first to just help out with like some extra like times twos and stuff oh this gives tdd now oh wait that's crazy wait that's actually like a really good upgrade I just wanted to like put this one out for y'all. I'm very excited for the tutorial content coming within the next week. Um, so you guys will have all of that beautiful tutorial content to hopefully learn some stuff from over the next uh, week. But either way, thank you guys. Join my server down below. It is in the description as well as the official Miner's Haven server, which will be under that in the description as well. I'll see you guys. Tune into live streams on the weekends, videos dropping all throughout the weekdays going forward, and weekend live streams. So, see you guys, thank you all so much for all the love lately. It has been a blast. Peace out. Goodbye. Bye-bye.